Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Revitless and in today's video, we will be talking about the OnePlus TV. So this is episode number two of Rev News and I'll be discussing most of the details that we already know about the OnePlus TV as well as my expectations and views on the same. So before we get started, please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also like the video in case you enjoy the video. And now let's get started. So the first thing that we got to know about the OnePlus TV is the fact that it would be using a 55 inch QLED panel. So those two parameters itself mean that this TV would be a premium offering. First of all, in India, most of the bulk sales happen in the 32 and 43 inch screen sizes due to two main factors, one being the uh, purchasing power of the consumer, as well as the second factor being the viewing distance. In most homes, you don't have a fair viewing distance that would allow consumers to buy large TVs without really affecting their vision uh, as it would not be an appropriate or safe viewing distance from a large TV. So the second thing is QLED panel. QLED panel is generally more costlier than an LED panel, but it also brings in several improvements such as better dynamic range, faster response times, uh, lower power consumption, etc. And regardless of whether or not you prefer OLED uh, or QLED, QLED is still better than LED. So as a result, these two things kind of make it costlier than the average LED TV and considering how OnePlus also is positioning itself differently these days rather than being a flagship killer with its phones. It's more of a flagship with the new 7 Pro. But I also have the feeling that they're going for a high refresh rate TV. I'm not sure whether it's going to be 90 hertz. Uh, but most likely 120 hertz even if it's happening but i have the feeling that oneplus might be bringing a 120 hertz display uh you know for the oneplus tv itself so considering that you know 90 hertz has been uh, there on the 7 pro and now the 70 as well as 70 pro both will be featuring 90 hertz displays i think oneplus is planning to go for a high refresh rate even on their tvs now when it comes to the software experience oneplus has always been one of the best in the market with their phones uh, the Oxygen UI is second to none and is even better than stock Android compared to, I mean, in terms of the updates, in terms of the uh, response, in terms of the overall fluidity of the UI. And this too would be an Android TV and it, they say that it would have its own layer on top which should kind of make things more rich and more premium like. So apart from this, OnePlus is also guaranteeing three years of software update which is a big thing. And it's also Android TV, which means that YouTube and all these services would run at full 4K resolution by default. You would be able to stream YouTube at 4K resolution instead of having to use any third party players, apps or, uh, you know, any stick, fire stick of that sort in order to get the full 4K resolution. Now, uh, I think OnePlus is going to differentiate itself uh, compared to the other offerings from Samsung, Sony and LG in two aspects, one being the price so it will have to undercut the competition if it wants to make a mark so currently you see oneplus devices uh, the 7 pro uh, for example being cheaper than apple and samsung devices and as a result existing users of samsung devices would feel tempted to get a oneplus device because it gives 90 percent if not 95 percent or more and some other features which are exclusive to oneplus at a price that's cheaper than these other uh, brands or smartphones that they're looking at the other thing is people who want to upgrade their smartphone also they could possibly shift from these brands onto oneplus and that's exactly what they're kind of targeting even with the tv i believe so this tv is codenamed dosa we saw it in a, a listing which showcased that it had a mediatek processor running android 9 and comes with 3 gb of ram so it's nicknamed dosa and i think this could be an india specific variant or maybe it would go under another code name for china when it's launched there later but this is tailor-made for indian consumers i guess it should be priced within a lakh although i'm not sure about the exact price point my guess is 60k plus or minus 10k in terms of pricing uh, and the recent news uh, that we got today is basically in the form of an amazon listing which showcased that the tv is going to have dolby vision uh, so it would support Dolby Vision for higher dynamic range etc and it will also have Dolby Atmos technology and to top all these things off it would also have 8 speakers totaling an output of 50 watts. What this also means is that OnePlus just hasn't gone to any around the mill ODM and asked them to slap their logo onto it but rather spent a lot of time and effort in R&D uh, and kind of made a TV that truly uh, you know goes by the brand name of OnePlus and whatever they stand for and the slogan of never settle. So uh, in a sense, the OnePlus TV should be a very differentiated offering 
uh, compared to most of the other TVs on the market right now, at least uh, when you compare to View TVs, Me, Me TVs, etc. Uh, of course, it might be costlier, but then for those who are willing to pay the price, I think this could be something that's really nice to them. Uh, apart from that, they are also partnering up with Amazon, who I feel is the right partner for any uh, tech or anyone basically in India doing e-commerce considering the Flipkart generally is not too good with their customer service. That's what I personally feel and many people also feel. And OnePlus have had a great track record with Amazon. They helped them launch in India and I'm sure they want to continue the same success story even with the TV as well. So that's it for my feedback, my opinion, my predictions. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please do hit the subscribe button if you liked it. See you again in the next one.